armor test today on a shot up old IOTV with still some leftover Kevlar as you can see in here. Uh, it's only been shot a couple times but there should be still some life to it. We're going to shoot a custom armor group plate that we found at a local surplus store. This is the 3S11 model. I think it's level 3. Data manufacturer 1 of 18. 10 by 12. It says it's NIJ certified. We got this for a hundred bucks. Ceramic strike face. Pretty thick ceramic. So it's about like right there. I don't feel any polyethylene. It just feels like straight ceramic. Foam backers. Then we'll have some foam, or not foam, uh, Kevlar behind it. Absorb some of the shot. We're going to see how these plates perform. I think they went for, what did you say, 180? They went for 179 uh, retail and anywhere between 179 for a 5x7 plate to 400 for the more expensive, bigger plates and cuts. So we're going to test it out today and see what we can do. Got our Geisley Super Duty 14.5, Surefire Can, EOTech, EOTech Magnifier, Arasaka Light with the Malkov head. We'll try our first round of 55 grain. Um, I forgot the ammo, it's that European one. No, uh, the Igman. Igman, yeah, 55 grain Igman from 10 yards. We'll go one round, center mess. You ready? See how the hundred dollar plate did. How did it hold up? Oh, it did. Center punched it. Right there. A little broken. Damn. A little bit of back face deformation. Through the foam, too. It's pretty thick foam. But, and then also this, but no pass through on it. That's pretty good. It actually doesn't even feel like it's cracked that much. Really? No. Plate's still good. All right, we'll send a, I'll try to hit one on this side this time. All right, guys, they super duty again. This will be 62 grain gold dot soft point coming out of a 14.5, 10 yards. Ready? Yep. Ooh. Ooh, more back face deformation. No pass through, but you can see the bump is bigger on the bulge. Yeah. Still feels intact. It creased. Oh shit. You feel that? And it's hard too. But it doesn't, nothing's falling out of it yet. But yeah, I think it expanded more. Like it, it had a little bit more. Yeah, you can see it. See it? First one, second one. Kind of gave it a little bit more back deformation there. Still holding up though. I mean, you can't even really feel it on your skin. Really? The back face, no. All right. All right, back at it with the 14.5. This is Wolf 55 grain, since some people stock it or use it as range ammo. Usually they're a little bit lighter loads than the normal 55 grain. And we'll see. I'm gonna try to hit it on the right edge this time, or the right side, this other one's kinda. All right, ready? That is polyethylene then. Felt like ceramic, so that's just foam. You can see the polyethylene, no pass through, but I mean, that's significant back face, but I mean, we'll give it to them, they're all in a row, one, two, three, right? But uh, no pass through on it. All right, we got a 16 inch Springfield Saint. Uh, it's got primary arms optic, hollow sun offset, hollow sun laser, light on the side. Um, gonna be shooting Federal 55 out of it. 10 yards, 16 inch barrel. All right, fourth round was down here in the lower left side of the plate there. A little bit of raised up there. That back face is, I think, bigger than 
Yeah, it is. I'd say bigger than the uh, that uh, 62 grain gold dot. I mean, it's it's foaming. It's not like it's. You'd feel that, yeah. But stopped it. No pass-throughs yet. Wasser 10 AKM pattern rifle, uh, 47 rounds of trigger pull, Kalashnikov stock adapter, mag pull, sig sight. Uh, what is this? Streamlight, uh, four in. J Mac flash hider. Oh, don't even have any ammo in here. Let's figure out the first rounds we're shooting. Three different type of rounds. Bernal hollow point. Tula full metal jacket. Wolf full metal jacket. We'll do wolf since it's kind of the top one, I guess. Let's see. Ten yards. Right. Ready? All right. Ooh, that back face is uh not feeling good. <laughs> stop, <laughs> stop! Holy shit! Stopped it though. I mean, this plate's compromised. But I mean, one, two, three, four, four rounds. Then they have to stop five in total, right? Or six, I think, is the NIJ certification. Um, I, I mean, I will say we don't have it against a good median. It's just fucking... Taking it. Yeah, it's just that the plate is taking it. It's not like it's absorbing into the, you know, a body or something like that. But, I mean, no penetration, so... Four up. Same rifle, Wasser 10 AKM, Bernal hollow point. Ten yards. Let's see. Make sure we're... Just behind this 10 yard mark. I'm gonna try to go to the other side. Ready? This thing's getting a. Uh... Oh, you can see the fibers in there. Oh, look at the round. See that jacket? Here, too. No pass through. Stopped it. But uh, I mean, that back face is fucking terrible. There's no way. But again, it's not on a good median, so we'll give it to him for now. No pass through. All right, now we got the Tula 762 by 39. Back face is fucking wild, though. I mean, like I said, still stopping rounds though. So they seem like they're pretty decent rounds so far. That's what, or plates, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's three, seven, six, two by three, nine. And the rest are all five, five, six. Yeah. All right, Gen 3 Glock 19. First round through it will be federal um, 124 grain ball. The second round is going to be Spear Gold Dot, 124 grain. Out of a Gen 3 19. And a super sick gold barrel or tin, whatever the fuck the goddamn correct name is. All right, you guys ready? I'm here in the top. Even the plate out. <laughs> uh, ooh, that fucking 762 really fucking ripped it, dude. But I mean, a lot of this is foam backing too. So I mean, that, that thickness, you know what I mean? Is, right. But no pass through. One round. I mean, this plate, I feel like it's compromised. It's hit fucking how many times now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. Rifle rounds at first, pistol next. We'll do spear gold dot. 19 spirit gold dot 124 grain Woo! spicy boy right there no pass through but i mean it fucking you can see kind of the indent in there kind of really fucking yeeted that up but still going strong all those fibers we're gonna get this plate to fail. All right, Glock, 20, Glock 22, 40, 
Gen 3. Uh, we're going to have that uh, same thing, Federal 40. Next will be the uh, Spear Gold Dot. I don't know the grain weight on it. Don't have the box with me. It's Spear though. I know that for sure. All right. Let's see. Get this squat in here. Ready? And yeet. Like impacted here. No pass through. Some noise in there, but still, uh, still going. I will try the gold dot. All right, spear gold dot, 40 cal, coming out of a Glock 22, and I don't know if it was this one or this one. I don't know which one's new. You oh. said, yeah. As you say, it's that big ass one that's up there. Tell if that's. I don't know, that's just the fiber. Well, no pass through. Still, uh, still going strong. Wouldn't feel great. Hell no. Alright, Glock 21 Gen 3 Slim Frame, Spear Ball, and then below it is your Spear Gold Dot 45. Um, all the pistol ammo has been Spear today. I don't know why I said Federal. I mean, I guess it's the same, same, but different. All right, let's see that round that one two world war back to back. Let's see if the FUDs are right. It's gonna rip through it just like it ripped through Panzer tanks in Germany. All right, my analysis was correct. It ripped right through just like the uh, buttery armor of a Tiger tank. No, but it did fucking, like it caved it in, which is weird. But it's the no pass. Man stopper. All right, spear, gold dot, 45, Sabo round. That's supposed to punch through two, two Tiger tanks back to back. And three, two, get fucked. Anyway. Well, you just don't carry nads on us anymore. No. You see that jacket? Oh, I see it. Hold on, let's see if we can get it in the camera here. Yeah, I left my knife up there. No it's pass hard to find it, but no pass through. Got 22 WMR, Ruger Precision. Uh, I doubt it's going to do anything to this plate, but it's a Hornady, Hornady 22 WMR round. All right, we're going to find out, I guess. Uh, it looks like I can't even find where it hit, so it's probably one of these tiny little holes, I'd assume. Didn't do anything to it, so you, you're good, don't worry, you're good. Somebody's shooting at you with varmint rounds. Remington 870, I think this is the TAC model or police, I don't think it's police, I think it's the TAC model. We got our Federal Premium Tactical Rifle Slug, and we're gonna end this plate. Ready? Oh, that's it. Custom Armor Group, level three, NIJ certified. Stopped everything we got today. Pretty impressive.
Our custom armor group fucking level three plate. Now keep in mind we absolutely just destroyed this thing after the test. It's just fucking rounds falling out. It's like warm. This is the, the pile of them. Ooh, it's even warmer on the inside, dude. Oh, I bet. So custom armor group, huh? Ooh, it's like kind of hot to touch. Could probably use that again. <laughs> yeah, it works. This is what came of the best camo to IOTV out there. I think this lives to fight another day, right? I could probably throw my plates back in here. Yeah, you're good, man. Look like a bad day. Good to go. It's fucking wild, dude.